if I told you about her? The princess without voice. What would I say? Clean that lab, you get out. This may very well be the most sensitive asset ever to be housed in this facility. You may think that thing looks human, stands on two legs, right? But we're created in the Lord's image. You don't think that's what the Lord looks like, do you? This creature is intelligent, capable of language, of understanding emotions. When he looks at me, he does not know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. J'avoue, j'en ai bavé pas vous, mon amour. Avant d'avoir eu vent de vous. The natives in the Amazon worship the like a god. Get him out. What are you talking about? No. We need to take it apart, learn how it works. I don't want an intricate, beautiful thing destroyed. We can do nothing. I'm sorry. Don't do this, Eliza. What is she saying? Don't do this. Oh, God, it's not even human. If I told you about her, what would I say? I wonder. always say, Tanya, tell the truth. There's no such thing as truth. Everyone has their own truth. I was the best figure skater in the world at one point in time. You call that a clean skate? Stop talking to her. That girl is your enemy. Who's that? Jeff was my first date ever. And my mom came. I need to see a wholesome American family. I don't have a wholesome American family. Nothing's ever your fault. I was embarrassed for you. My entire life, I've been told I wouldn't amount to anything. And you know what? Maybe I would. Never could believe the things you do to me. 4.8. How do I get a fair shot here? We also judge on presentation. Ah! I didn't even leave in the playing field. I know a guy who shouldn't even be saying his name. Derek. The press wanted me to be the pile of crap. I never did this. What is going on? We're with the FBI. They know something. What can you tell us about Tanya Harding? I don't know a Tony Harding. <laughs> Aren't you her bodyguard? As a kid, did you ever love me? I made you a champion, knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. He cursed me. America, they want someone to love. They want someone to hate. I mean, come on. What kind of friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee? Who would do that to a friend? that. When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, something truly special. me 
has always been there. But now it's awake. And I need help. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Like a very big. Holy beefaroni, you're ginormous! More me to love! Very strong. You ready to put those wings to work? Launch! <laughs> oh no. You shot Maria into the sun. Sorry! Family of pet. <laughs> Who's my good boy? Hey, I thought I was the good boy. But if the world sees Ferdinand as one thing, a fighter. I am here to select a bull. My hands are my instruments, as are my arms, legs, chest, and buttocks. Uh, nope, I'll pass, thanks. You guys go ahead. I know exactly how Ferdinand feels. Let's go out there and give it 110%. Woohoo! Match him in the head! Actually, I'm gonna pass on the violence. This is on fire. You're finally ready to fight? Come on! I am not a fighting bull. The movie sends a message that resonates very strongly with me. Don't judge a bull by his cover. There are places out there where you don't get pushed around for being yourself. Hedge for one, yeah. and hog for all. Oh, don't leave me hanging. Cause I'm Everybody in. in. Wait for me. From the creators of Ice Age and Rio. I'm getting out of this place. He's coming now. He's coming now. Oh, no. Can you just try to be a little more quiet? Shh. Ferdinand. The door to freedom. Just do exactly what we do. Maybe don't do exactly as we do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. New York is the greatest city in the world. My city. I was a kid in these streets, and I made it to the top. I made my bones doing a piece of work for Don Carlo Gambino. Like that, I became a made man. Dad, I'm thinking maybe take a year off. <laughs> you wanna hang out with me? <laughs> Do you know what you're doing to this family? I will build something that nobody can destroy. Salute. Paul Castellano was a fish in the desert. I never respected Paul. You killed the boss of us. You will bring down hellfire. There is no choice. You'll need the support of all five boroughs. Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, the Bronx. Our job now is to maintain leadership. I nominate John Gotti. To the new boss! Let everybody know. Now everybody comes to me. 
I'm so proud of you. You should be running your own crew now. Mr. Gotti, are you the head of the Gambino crime family? I'm the head of my family. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. John's getting too much press. That can't go unchecked. It was meant for you. We've never been under this kind of scrutiny before. What were you saying on the tapes? I said a lot of things that could get a lot of people in trouble. Dad, say the word, I'll go for a cliff for you. You swore to me that you would not bring him into that world. This life of ours is a wonderful life, if you can get away with it. Johnson has been an informant for the FBI. It's a grand lie! Order! You fight till you can't fight no more. Never back off, ever. walk together and we fall together. This is the life. I found something. You gotta check this out. He plays board games anymore. Yo, what's this? Manji. Pick a character and you're that person in the game. Bethany, you in? Then I'll spend my life staring at a TV screen. <sighs> Fine. Oh my god! Where's my hair? Where's the rest of me? Oh my god, we're in different people's bodies! Bethany, don't look at it! No! I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Wait a second. Where's my phone? Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I think we've become the avatars we chose. Welcome to Jumanji. This is a video game, which means we each have three lives. Come on, let's go. I'm Alex. Watch your step in here. So gnarly. We can help each other. We all have special skills. Weakness, none. I hate this game. Everybody else got good stuff. Weakness, cake. Yes, cake is my weakness. You're all good weapons, Valet. What is that? I think it means you carry my weapons and give them to me when I tell you to. Don't let this new body get your butt whooped. Ow! Ow! What the hell? We have to work together. Oh! I think it's a staring contest. Who's good at staring and not blinking? I'm amazing at it. I like Kent even with this place. We gotta go get on my back. Hell no. I'll carry you. Come on. I would rather die. Get on my back. Nope, I'm gonna die. Let me go! Who's this? Found cake. Cake? Isn't that your weakness? Something happening to me? Am I am I shaking? Am I still black? Yes. Hey, we're fine. Everything is fine. It's all good. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. I am not a stranger to the dark. You're still just the Taylor's boy. Better luck with your next job. Those people will never accept us. This isn't the life I promised you. Not even close. But I have everything I want. Girls, I think I've had an idea. Look out, cause here I come. Putting together a show. It's a place where people can see things they've never seen before. <laughs> okay. I'm not scared. Who's that? And what is your act? I don't have an act. Everyone's got an act. People aren't gonna like it if you put us on stage. Oh, I'm counting on it. Well, I believe those are the words of a scoundrel. A shaman. Whistling just a shaman. Don't listen to them. They don't understand yet. But they will. So tell me, do you wanna go? Where it's covered in all the kind of lights. Where the runaways are running the night. Impossible come true. It's taking over you. Does it bother you that everything you are selling is fake? Did these smiles seem fake? We have more protesters every day. I 
bunch of freaks. You're risking everything you've built. Well, how do you think I built it? The world was ashamed of us. It's everything you ever need. But you put us in the spotlight. You gave us a real family. Have you no shame? Father, the world is changing. It's everything you ever need. Never made a difference by being like everyone else. There are over 70 million fathers in the U.S. Inventive fathers, athletic, brave, but not everyone knows who their father is. For 40 years, we thought we did until today. I wasn't sure who your father was. How does that work? It's the crazy 70s. Monogamy wasn't exactly a priority. I've always wondered where I got my zest for love making. Now we know. Our father has been out there this whole time. Here we go. Operation Who's Your Daddy? The top mission is finding dad. Submission is going to be having stone crabs. Mission below that, getting you laid. Mom actually dated Carrie Bradshaw. Do you remember a woman named Helen Baxter? Talk about a blast from the past. She had the tightest ass you've ever seen. A mouth and that tongue and a set of knockers. <laughs> Damn near cost us the Super Bowl. She's our mom. Why don't you just stop this foolishness? This is it. What are you doing here? We think we're your sons. Excuse me for a minute. There is no way those two jackasses are my kids. He runs hot. Just like you. Give the man a ride. He could easily be a serial killer. Are you a serial killer? I am not a serial killer. You just emphasize the word serial. Like I'm a killer, but I'm not a serial killer. But that was totally unintentional. You're still not saying, I promise I'm not a killer. We can give you a ride, but those aren't too tight, are they? Almost kill you, can't kill you. Oh, dad. <laughs> we got a runner. You shot dad. What was that? Ah, I think it was a person. The universe has a tendency to point in the right direction. Yes. Guys, my Negro spider senses is tingling. It's not the soul train, guys. Does the name Helen Baxter ring a bell? It does more than ring a bell. She was like a dick whisperer. She's our mom. All we did was cut. The extra large is available in cayenne, moss, and aubergine. We didn't have six and a half in the plum, so I brought you black. But I really want plum. Do you think moss is pretty? You know, I, I don't know, lady. Why don't you just pick a color, please? Dave? That's Dave Johnson. He never struck me as the kind of guy who'd go get small. Wow. So the decision to downsizing takes the pressure right off, especially money pressure. We live like kings. We're dying to move. We're really strapped. You want my advice? Lease your lands where you want to be. In leisure land, your $100,000 translates to $12 million. Wow. I just got another diamond bracelet. Pretty nifty, huh? OK, let's go for it. Nervous? Little. I love you. I love you too. Today, you will undergo the permanent and irreversible procedure known as downsizing. All clear. It's just frantic. You've got a call. Paul, don't be mad at me. Please don't be mad. I can't leave my family. I can't leave my friends. And I'm sorry, Paul. I should have been thinking more about myself. Thinking about yourself? I'm five inches tall! As large as you can, please. I know this can put a pretty big dent in anyone's self-esteem. But downsizing is about hitting the reset button. Start all over. I have allergies. Wait, wait. I'm going to take off my shoes. You may find yourself Open your eyes. In another part of the world. The world is filled with things to see. And you may say to yourself, my God, what have I done? Woman is really sick. You help her. These are the people that we should be helping. Oh, 
Something very big is happening. Something top secret. Why did I downsize so that I could be here right now? I finally have a chance to do something that matters. You think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh my God. And you realize we're not. Same as it ever was. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three. Windows up. Drive it like you stole it. Put on the gas in the boat. Is it war? What happened? I got a dude in my car, and the whole world is watching. Our nation's first Orcish police officer. I can't fuck up my pension. Hey, don't get me stabbed. Why have orcs always gotta be the bad guys? Danger, danger. I don't fit in on a stranger. So that night, we responded to a 415 disturbance call. It immediately took fire. You all right? In the holes? Only the ones I was born with. Are your holes? The fuck can you make a shootout awkward? Believe him. Hey! I can take out all the It's a magic wand. This is like a nuclear weapon that grants wishes. And it just went really sideways from that point. If only see magic strong and kill. Look, I didn't have to do the struggle just to let a little trouble knock me out of my position. The devil is coming. We have to protect the wand. So I need to know that you got my back. You a cop first or an orc first? It's time to end this. Fuck it. I want to die. Let's do it. We're going to titty bar gunfight die. Hiding all my dreams turn to nightmares. Hiding out losing when I was right there. Now I'm so far that it feels like it's all gone to pieces. Tell me what the world now fights fair. Butterfingers. We were doing so good. Someone take me friends. I think we should spend our time just trying to survive this shit. If we do this, we'll be heroes forever. I need you to take your fat Shrek-looking ass back the fuck home to Fiona. Alright? Carry your gun, Mr. Chase. I never bothered. It ruins a lot of your suit. You used to be a spy. My child is a prisoner. Seventeen million dollars. All they will take is eye, is ear, the hand, and don't tell me you don't have the money. My former father-in-law only buys the best. It's time for you to do whatever it is he pays you to do. I hope you're half as good as everything else he's bought. We need to pay the ransom, Mr. Getty. I do not have the money to spare. No one has ever been richer than you are at this moment. What would it take for you to feel secure? More. More. I'm gonna find your son. You're protected from every threat. Unless that threat happens to be me. Paul, I just want to go home. Paul. I didn't hire an ex-CIA officer just to pay people off. I hired you to do things that other people can't or won't do. We have to be willing to walk away. He's my son. I can't walk away. I don't think this is about money. It's about power. Power. Business. Terrible. Tell him I'm coming.
So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times has 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper. That she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. The New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you'd publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. She can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? I'm Molly Bloom. Do you know about me? This is a true story. You ran games in LA for roughly eight years? Yeah. And then you ran games in New York for roughly two. I haven't run a game in over two years, not to spoil the ending. But that's when the government raided my game and took all of my money, assuming all of it was made illegally, which it wasn't. In this room, you couldn't buy your win. I'm all in. You couldn't buy me, and you couldn't buy a seat at the table. Movie stars, athletes, billionaires, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You're not taking percentage of the pot? No. Keep it that way, because you don't want to break the law when you're breaking the law. Am I breaking the law? Not really. We're able to find out for sure, aren't we? Laws are written down. You had meetings in LA about your broken life rights. I did. You spent eight years running the world's most exclusive, glamorous, and decadent man cave. In the office? Guarantee the publishers certain elements, then I can get you a million and a half. What kind of elements? I passed. I'm just curious as to why you pass on what would appear to be the only way out you have. You have to use real names. Creative differences. The law that I'm accused of breaking defines gambling as betting on games of chance. Yes. Poker isn't a game of chance, poker is a game of skill. Why does a young woman who at 22 has a gold plated resume? Why does she run poker games? Your risk is nuts. You're gonna get blown up. You got 2.8 million on the street right now. That money should be in your hands. Just how deep into the Russian mob were you? There's a new offer on the table. Complete immunity. We hand over the hard drive. You've seen what's on those hard drives. Families, lives, careers will be ruined. Why are you in this alone? Where are the people you're protecting by not telling the whole story? It's not their names. I'm protecting Charlie. It's mine. Tell me why! Because it's all I have left! Because it's my name! 